Hi Leo and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your mid-March love reading. This is going to be a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't feel like your message you may want to check out videos for your moon rising and Venus signs. I typically channel these messages for those of you who are in some sort of soul connection, deep soul connection. So this could be you know about someone from your past it could be a soulmate that you've met recently or you know a long time ago and you guys have never been together but you feel a very very deep connection with them and you don't really understand why if you guys want to book a private reading with me I will pin a comment down below. You can simply click on the link and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. I had a raffle in March. We're still in March, but I am offering a raffle for the month of April. It starts now. It requires a $10 donation to my channel. The deadline is going to be April 15th at midnight. I will get in touch with the winner on the 16th of April. If you don't hear from me, that means that unfortunately you did not win. I, I try to get in touch with everybody, but I've just got so much going on that um, I, I may not be, be able to reach out to everyone. The winner is going to receive a one hour reading with me, one hour reading of your choice. If you'd like to participate, when you donate, please indicate that it's for the raffle and make sure I have your email address. There is a link down below to my PayPal account where you can donate or there's an icon in the banner of my channel. Okay, Leo, I just want to get going on this. Um, so interestingly, these two cards came out for cancer and I just uploaded their reading for mid-March. We've got victory and healer of the ages. Some of you could be light workers, okay? So take what resonates. Um, but this is about spirit helping you heal. Anything that is not healed within you. Um, if there is some lingering hurt from past relationships, this is a message that it's really important to heal this right now. It's going to lead to victory in your love life. And then we've got the co-create card. And this is about creating what you want with the universe's help. Okay. Spirit is here to help you with respect to your love life. They are wanting to just help you create whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. And then we've got the happy, happy card. I like this. And this is really about enjoying life and being happy. And, you know, I see this keyhole here and it's like, you know, when I see this next to co-create, it's about finding those keys that will unlock the doors that lead to your happiness. Beautiful. And we've got another healing message. This is healing and wellness. And then we've got new path. So there is a healing um, portion that's coming in very strong here. So that's definitely something for some of you to look at. Okay. Um, once this healing is done, you're going to go on a new path. It's going to lead to a lot of happiness and victory. So beautiful, beautiful messages. Very positive. Let's just jump in and see where is your energy right now with respect to love? How are you feeling about love? What's happened with love? Where are you going? Where are you wanting to go? What do we need to know for Leo? Ooh, we've got the emperor. This could be an Aries that you're thinking of. It doesn't have to be. This is about being in control, being in control holding the keys that are going to unlock those doors that lead to this new path, to this happiness. Oh my gosh, we've got the Empress, you guys. This is cool. Woo! All right. 
For some of you, I feel that you've met your counterpart because we've got the Two of Cups. It doesn't get better than this. This is amazing. And right now, I am thinking of my friend, Jess. If you are watching this, wow, this is crazy, good, powerful energy. I love it. So yeah, some of you could have met your counterpart. Um, let's see. I want it. I, I don't even know if I want <laughs> I don't even want it. Okay, the reading's over. That's all we need to know. I'm kidding, you guys. I just, when the good cards come out, I'm, I, I'm just a little hesitant to keep going. Let's see what else is coming through for Leo. And I have Leo rising, so. Oh my gosh. The chariot, beautiful. This is about moving forward toward victory. And we did have that victory card, you guys. So that is definitely a repeating message. We've got three, three major arcana. Okay, um, so for some of you, oh yeah, you have met your person and you are moving forward in love. Okay. But we've got barrier and inner child. This is where the healing comes in. So this is not going to be for all of you. Um, we all have healing to do, you guys. Uh, this is just, you know, a word of advice that um, don't let any of these inner child wounds be a barrier to experiencing this love. That's what I'm getting. Just be very, very mindful of that. But gosh, that is some beautiful energy. Okay, let's see who is coming in for you. What is coming in for you? In the present and near future, what is happening? What's coming up? Oh my gosh. Destiny is arriving. The wheel of fortune. Something very destined is coming in for you. I feel like for some of you, you're already experiencing it and you are on cloud nine. It's like you have been waiting for this for so long and it's almost like you are pinching yourself because you are the happiest that you've been in a long time. This is so beautiful. Um, and then we've got the Ten of Swords. And you guys, this came up in the reverse. I have not been one to read reversals, but there have been a lot of cards coming up in reverse, okay? Um, and so I'm just gonna read it like this. What I'm feeling is that the Wheel of Fortune is showing up, um, closing out a cycle, a karmic cycle. So if you guys have been going through a rough time in love in the past, that's all changing. It's like the Wheel of Fortune is closing out cycles, closing doors, and opening new doors. It's like you've got the keys. You've got the keys to open these new doors. Um, so yeah, I feel like any pain that you've experienced in the past is just that. It's a thing of the past. And not to be focused on that. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. Yep. Okay. Yeah, everything's changing for you. It's like these difficult, painful, exhausting cycles in love are a thing of the past, Leo. Beautiful. Beautiful and the devil oh my gosh this could be a capricorn um it doesn't have to be it's like okay when i see that with the inner child coming through as as on the barrier card it's like don't let these fears from the past hold um don't let it affect your optimism and your happiness right now okay um, yeah, the fears can creep in, 
Um, you know, with the devil showing up with the Wheel of Fortune, though, I'm also feeling that this, um, ooh, I like it, Nine of Cups, that this could just be um, a very sexually satisfying relationship that is coming in for you um, because this is about temptation. I see this as a very lustful card, but not in a bad way. It's like when you're in love, of course, you want to express yourselves physically, sexually. So I'm not seeing that as a bad thing. And we've got the nine of cups coming through and that is about wish fulfillment and, you know, happiness, just, just enjoying enjoying life it's a very satisfying satisfying energy and you know what you guys you have earned it after you know all these painful endings that have come through so let's see what other messages we can find okay we've got contemplation so a few of you could be feeling a little bit fearful, like this is too good to be true. When's the other shoe going to drop? Um, but what I want to let you know is this person that's coming in or that you're with totally admires you. Like they, they almost put you on a pedestal. That is how highly they think about you. Okay. So beautiful. Um, don't get caught up in your thoughts. <laughs> don't get stuck there, Leo. This is feeling like the real deal. And, ooh, yeah. So, okay, what are the challenges that may be coming up for you? We've got the King of Cups. Um, I'm reading this a couple different ways. You could be holding back your feelings despite feeling super happy and in love and wanting to move forward. You could be holding back your feelings a little bit and not, not expressing them. But this is also about um, emotional mastery, okay? So you may be feeling very high and in love and you're just really at a place where you're trying to master your emotions, but it's, um, it is challenging you and you want to express yourself. You don't want to hold back from this person, um, but that, that's also challenging you. It's like you're, you're kind of trying to figure out when is the right time to really express my feelings. Um, it's like you're not wanting to go overboard and scare them away. But what I'm feeling is that you're, anything that you say to this person is not going to scare them away. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is a work in progress. This is a lot of hard work. You know, relationships are hard work, you guys. It's, they don't just magically come together and, you know, it's happily ever after. Relationships, like anything, take work. And so this is challenging you. What I'm feeling is you just want to be in this period of bliss and who could blame you? Um, but there, there are things gonna, that are going to come up in the con within the connection and, you know, you may have to work a few things out, but it's, it's all going to be okay. It's all gonna be okay. And we've got divine timing. So what I'm feeling is that in time, you will master your emotions. You will express these things to your person. You guys will work everything out and you will get to that 10 of pentacles, okay? But right now, it's just you're so in your emotions about this person that it's just, I don't know, it's kind of freaking you out. It's kind of overwhelming you. What is, so just, you know, take a breath. Just take a breath. It's going to be okay. Let's see what their intentions are towards you. Oh my gosh. Two of pentacles and ten of pentacles. Okay. The ace of pentacles is the beginning. Okay. That's a new beginning. Then comes the two of pentacles. This is like where you're trying to get your balance because you're so in love that you know, you feel like 
you are floating. You feel like you're just floating off with these balloons. This just couldn't be more perfect. Um, so, you know, you may be trying to just balance everything out, like your physical world with your emotions, um, whatever it is for you. And then we've got the 10 of pentacles. Um, hold on just a second, you guys. Sorry about that, Leo. What I'm feeling is um, that they really want balance within this connection, okay? That's their intention. They want, um, yeah, they want you to feel at ease. They want to feel at ease with you. And um, with the Ten of Pentacles, they want to, <laughs> this is like the real deal. This is like they want to go all the way with you. They want to build something substantial with you. And we already saw that eight. That is, um, that is challenging you. But um, this, could, this could definitely, wow, this could definitely be it, Leo, for you. Let's see what else. Beautiful. Okay. Um, the five of cups is coming through. They may be trying to balance their emotions as well. There could have been something very um, painful, very sad from their past. Um, and so they're, they're challenged with seeing this future, um, this love that's available to them. So it's not just you, it's them as well. However, with the sun card coming through, this is totally you, Leo. They just want to be happy with you. They want to build this, you know, this relationship with you. They want it to be solid and they just want to enjoy life. You are their sunshine. Oh my gosh. I think that's going to be the title. You are their sunshine. It's like you just bring, um, it's like you're a breath of fresh air. You um, bring so much positivity and hope and happiness to them, and they just want to enjoy life with you. Beautiful. Let's see what else wants to come through. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> We're getting bound, which is the devil energy, and we're getting fear. So they they are feeling a little afraid of this connection. It it could have been like a world whirlwind situation. Okay, you guys met and then you got together, and it's just like taking off with that chariot there. It's like, oh yeah, this is somebody that I want to be with. And when that happens, it can bring up a lot of anxiety. Um, However, they're working through it, okay? With this ascending card, it's like they're moving out of this energy. They're letting it go, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see what a potential outcome is in the near future. Oh, and I just dropped a card. just a second you guys all right um so this is very interesting we've got three major arcana so i am just feeling like this connection is going to teach both of you a lot um we've got the moon and the high priestess and you know this is all about your intuition this is also, the moon can be about fear, things being hidden, and we do have the three of swords, but we've got the star card. And so what I'm really feeling is 
Leo, just rely on your intuition. You're going to know if this is right for you. And I do believe it is because this is some beautiful energy coming through. There are some fears about heart past heartbreak, about sadness from the past. And I feel this coming from both of you. However, with the star coming through, this is about destiny. So we've had the Wheel of Fortune and the star card. They're both about destiny. This is also about a deep healing. And we did see, um, yeah, healing and wellness. This is also about hope and wish fulfillment. And we did see the Nine of Cups coming through, the Two of Cups. Um, what I'm getting is that you both believe that your person is your wish fulfillment. It's a reciprocal energy. You're both feeling the same way. And the other message that's coming through is you're going to help heal each other from any past, any past um, heartbreak, any pain. It's like you're going to help heal each other. And then we've got mask and recognition. The mask is you being afraid to be vulnerable, to show them the real you. It's like there's a little anxiety that's coming up. They're feeling the same way, but you both recognize that this is something incredibly special and you are going to work through those fears. You are going to let down your guard. I don't feel like either one of you are particularly guarded. That could come up in the future if, if they somehow trigger you. But I do believe that you're going to take off this mask. You are going to show this person the real you. And it's, it's going to lead to your wish fulfillment. You are going to ascend through this connection. This is beautiful beautiful. Okay. Um, Leo, I hope that this resonated with you. Um, if it did, please like, share, subscribe, and I'd love to hear your comments. You guys, it's such a weird time. Um, we are in lockdown here in San Francisco. We have been for a few days. Uh, we didn't even get 24 hours notice. We can go out to buy groceries and, you know, go to the hospital if we need to, but that's about it. We're on total lockdown. I'm safe, I'm happy, um, but I just wanted to say that um, I am sending you guys so much love and light right now. I hope that you're well, I hope that you're safe, you and your families, and I'm just sending a lot of love your way. Okay, bye-bye you guys.